some Psych2Go viewers, it's Donna, you know, the person behind the voiceover for the last video on gawking at the opposite sex, and I'm here to introduce a new segment on Psych2Go called Psych News Edition, where we announce the new discoveries happening in the world of psychology. So without further ado, let's get on to the first story. The scientist at the University of Maryland School of Medicine, led by Dr. Scott Thomas, claim to have found a compound that can beat the symptoms of depression within 24 hours. The team focused on a compound called GABA-NAMS and tested their hypothesis on rats. Rats were subjected to chronic mild stress that caused the rats to act depressed. When treated with a compound, scientists were able to reverse the symptoms of depression within 24 hours. So that's a huge improvement from current antidepressant medication we have today. Normally, current medication takes up to two weeks to work, but people won't start feeling positive effects till six to eight weeks. Now, this study hasn't been done on humans yet, so I'm a little bit skeptical of it as of now due to the fact that sometimes depression is caused by external events whether that be bullying, abuse, or financial problems. Before taking medication, those external problems do need to be addressed first. A pill will not make those problems disappear. Don't get me wrong, any sort of progress in the realm of science is a great thing, and only good can come out of this new discovery. Our second story comes from the University of Pennsylvania, and it's for you frequent migraine sufferers. I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is being prone to migraines is genetic. If you often get them, that's that, and you were born with what you have. The good news is researchers have found a link to migraines and an incomplete circle of Willis. The circle of Willis is the joining area of several arteries of the brain. Because of that finding, researchers are now working on other treatments for migraines. It's coming soon, you guys. And our final story is about Screaming. Screaming is a vital form of human communication. Without using any words, it can convey messages of excitement or fright. Furthermore, screams have this effect on the brain that causes it to become alert once it's heard. That's important, of course, because it tells us right away that we either need to fight or run. That is why Popple and his team at the University of Geneva in Switzerland asked people to judge screams based on how terrifying they were in hopes to learn about this mean of communication much more. found that roughness in the screams range from 30 to 150 hertz, and the rougher the sound, the greater the activation in the amygdala. The team suggests that this new information can be used to improve alarms. Please don't make alarms more annoying. This one is annoying as it is. That's the news we have for you this week, and we at Psych2Go would love to hear your opinions on what you learned today. 